Welcome back everyone. Today we're diving into an exciting new Omnisphere library called Subterraneans, created by an incredibly talented Jonathan Lausen. I hope I've pronounced your name right. If not, I do apologise. He's also known as Mistral Unison's Music. This library is specifically crafted for composers working in suspense, action and horror soundtracks. But don't be fooled, Subterraneans goes far beyond just those genres. We'll explore how these sounds can transform your projects, whether you're scoring intense scenes or creating immersive atmospheric soundscapes. Subterraneans requires Omnisphere version 2.8.7 or higher and comes fully loaded with 100 meticulously crafted patches and 21 brand new sound sources. And if you're a Unify user, you're in luck. There's also a specially optimised version for Unify. As that's another amazing instrument available separately from Plugin Guru directly. You'll find links below to both the Subterraneans library and where you can pick up Unify if you're interested in the uh, description below. Before we dive into these sounds, I want to take a quick moment just to thank you for well, being here and listening and watching this video. If you find value in these videos and enjoy the content on this channel, please consider showing your support by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. This channel runs entirely ad free without sponsorship, so your support genuinely helps keep the content flowing. Also, I'd love to hear from you. There's a quick survey link in the description below also where you can share your thoughts and help shape the future of this channel. So now, Let's dive into subterraneans and see how these sounds come alive across different themes and genres. Ready to experience some spine tingling cinematic textures? Let's get started. That's just a couple of the arps. Let's try some bass lines. A lot of this is coming from the effects uh, section here. Um, the only thing that, I, that it, it's a bit of personal taste, this, but the only thing I don't like about this library, and no offense to the crate here, is the amount of compression on these patches is insane. We are crushing things at eight to one, and then we've got another compressor on the outboard. It's it, it's a little bit too much for me. Um, naturally, you can turn these off and then uh, turn the gain down a bit. So we're on 10 to 1 compression here. Now if we turn that vintage compression off and then just turn this down to say 14. A lot more manageable on the uh, volume levels. Not to detract from the actual sound of the library, the sound of the library is, is absolutely fine. It's just the amount of compression just, yeah, just grates me a bit. Anyway, moving on.
through a few sequences here. See, a lot of this is also on libraries, the mod wheel. Um, got instructions here that tell you exactly what sort of the, con the parameters and the controls and Omnisphere actually do. Now the mod wheel says as a layer one for a huge thump, best played in medium to low registers. Let's do that. So that's with the mod wheel uh, closed, open. For us, going to impact cello. And pounding hard. Uh, we've got some distortion here. So let's go for uh, FX low growl impact. That's a nice detune on the on the soundscape here. Some hits. a nice haunting sound that and uh, let's try guitarist guitaristic zone I can't even I'm say that <laughs> Turn the arp on. Some funky pattern there. Some synth bass.
just wanted to show that this library doesn't just only work for horror and thriller. You can also get a little bit of uh, synth wavy type sounds in this as well. some more of these. Got some vocals here, let's have a play. These are cool. With them being pitched as well, you get different effects the way you play them on the keyboard. compression we're on an eight to one compression ratio because if I, if I turn that off and then just turn this down a touch now that would sit a lot better in the mix than having it compressed to absolute infinity and beyond <laughs> Let's do some of these transition effects. Some really neat sounds in this library. So let's hear what damage I can do to them by putting them together in a little track. Whoa, that track really did take us on a journey. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know I often lean into calm, ethereal tones, but Subterraneans inspired something totally different. 
it brought out a bit of funk and intensity I wasn't expecting and well I kicked off this using two soundscapes Total Creeps and that sort of like blended into Run Out of There which sat sort of throughout the track then and that immediately set an atmospheric foundation but the real twist came when I tried the Did You Saw It patch that was one of the first patches I actually played when I opened this library it really sparked off that riff that quickly became the track's backbone and it just sort of like gave the whole composition its unique vibe once that main element was down I dove a bit deeper into the library to layer on some exciting textures underground piping added a pulsing sequence injecting movements while alienated contrasted with a bold you know with that bold lead pattern giving the track even more character while Subterranean's is tailored for action and horror, don't let that limit you. It's an incredibly versatile toolkit for a range of genres. As you'll heard in this track, these sounds are right out of the library. There's no extra processing needed, and each patch has its own character ready to slot into your project and bring them to life. If you're interested in exploring this one-of-a-kind library, you can grab Subterranean's through the link in the description below. So thanks for joining me on this Sonic Adventure and if you're loving the content please remember don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay in the loop. And remember, stay creative, stay Sonic and I'll see you in the next one.